It may not look like a place seething with discontent, but in a country with no elected government, there's a sense of despair wherever you go. Felling trees and contemplating the downfall of mainstream politics in Greece are father and son. They've always voted for PASOK, the main socialist party, but not anymore. I'm angry because we voted for who we believed in. They should have formed a government, but they just argued. I think this election will be the same. Apostolis says he'll now be voting for the protest No Pay movement. His son has gone further than that. He's switching to the ultra-right wingers Golden Dawn because of their anti-immigration policy. But does he really want to see them as part of a government? No, not in government. But it's good that they shout about things. All foreigners must leave Greece. All of them. Here, on the side of a mountain in a place steeped in Greek rural tradition, this is home for father and son, but there's nothing traditional about their political thinking right now. Like so many other families right across Greece, they're rebelling in their own way against the political leadership. Apostolis knows that by the time his baby grandson grows up, it's unlikely there'll be a family business. His son and his wife can't even rent their own home. They all have to live together. And for the first time, their political views are split. Poverty, hunger, theft, Anergia. unemployment. Yana Kassidis lists the issues. She'll be voting for a protest movement like her husband. He says he's worried about his son's switch to the far right, along with his daughter-in-law. <laughs> Stamatis butts in, ranting about immigrant workers taking money out of the economy. If the business fails, his future may be in Volos, the urban sprawl beneath the mountain where he met his wife. Father and son, once they were socialists, now they're voting out of anger rather than any true belief. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, on the Pilio Mountain in Greece.